Hey YouTubers, this is Eric here um, with another shark tooth video. I'm going to be talking about Megalodon teeth and specifically how to clean them. I do get a lot of questions on how you clean your shark teeth. This is an example of a really nice um, Megalodon tooth recovered in Venice, Florida, but a lot of times they don't look like this. Um, some people and this is more of kind of like a natural state that you might see the tooth in. They kind of camouflage in with all the shell and everything like that. A lot of people use vinegar and different methods, but I'm going to show you the mechanical way. This is the way that I like to clean it. I'll use different tools like this right here. This is a Dremel tool with just a little wire brush on it. The wire brush, uh, you can get a pair of those from Walmart for under five bucks. And I might also use a pick tool to kind of clean the teeth. Now, if you're in the Carolina, sometimes the Carolina teeth are a little um, not as pristine. Um, sometimes you can get some really nice ones, sometimes not so much. But let's get at it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this tooth and just kind of work at it a little bit. And just literally a little bit of work on those barnacles that are attached to it and I really have no clue what this tooth looks like underneath it it's kind of like a little bit of a mystery I'm opening up a kind of a package that I've never seen so I'm getting to see what's underneath it good news is it looks like it's got the tip there is some damage right here that I'm beginning to see Now, as long as you don't gouge into it, you can use the pick tool. As long as you're not digging, digging into it. I just found these today. A little bit of enamel damage right there. Overall, it's not going so bad. Very happy with the way that this is turning out. And as you can see, a little bit of enamel damage on the front. You can see some lines running like that. The back actually appears really good. Now when you get to this point, what I'd say is the Dremel works pretty good for kind of getting in there. Now this tooth is a little wet. I recommend having it more dry when you're actually working on it. I know the sound is probably a little annoying. Sorry guys. Now the trick is when you're working with a Dremel, when you're working with the Dremel and if it's a prize tooth and it has serrations, um, make sure that you don't go against the serrations because you'll rip that edge. So basically like this direction because it's spinning like this way. So as long as you don't work against the serrations, that is all right. dried off a little bit so the barnacles come off a little easier. And you can just kind of see even if I work on the enamel just a little bit with the slightest pressure that comes right off. And I'm not really forcing this I'm just lightly going at it. 
and it just brings it right off. Now the one thing I will say about the Dremel with the wire brush is I would recommend doing this outside. Sometimes those little wires have a tendency to break off and they can become lodged in your hand. That's why I'm wearing gloves. And less likelihood you'll have them inside your house where you can step on and get them in your foot, which is not a pleasant experience. When we dive in Venice, Florida, we dive in about 30, 35 foot of water. In the Carolinas, they dive it in over 100 foot of water, depending on where you are. They have an inner ledge and an outer ledge. It's important to always wear glasses. Usually I don't get hit too much, but every now and then, you know, when you're using anything with high uh, velocity, stuff happens. And obviously this tooth is gonna need some more work, but it, it's a great improvement over what we start even when you feel low you can still go even when you feel slow you can still go even when there's no hope you can still go i never answered a no man i still go 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 hustle out hustle every single day i'll be making moves till i'm buried in my grave to the system, I don't wanna be a slave I've been doing shit my way uh, Or the highway And in the driveway Is a nice range Cause I grind through the climb I invite pain You'll never hear me bitch Nah, I don't complain Just gotta flip the switch And you can go and obtain Anything you want Anything you need Your mind's got the key ingredient It's belief uh, They'll deceive with the negativity But I just slide right by that energy uh, Even when you feel low You can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answered a no, man, I still go Go, 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 but even that could change You could flip the gray matter like some batter in your brain uh, That's why they say Fake it till you make it, eh And if you play that game Then you just might make a change Rearrange all the bad to okay Take the worst thoughts and turn them to a game Take the best thoughts and put them on display On repeat in your brain Till you're feeling no more pain uh. Never slow yourself down You can do some more Push past start the pain And you'll find a door Open it up And finally explode everything you can never do before uh. And even when you feel low You can still go Even when you feel slow You can still go Even when there's no Some people like to use stuff from um, They like to use chemical um, To clean it like um, vinegar I don't recommend using vinegar And still needs a little work, but that is a Megan in a nutshell.